Meanwhile, the United Nations Security Council has failed to adopt a draft resolution on climate and security. What is interesting is that Russia has chosen to veto the first of its kind United Nations Security Council resolution, casting climate change as a threat to international peace and security. The draft resolution received 12 votes in favor. And what is interesting is that along with Russia, India has also chosen to vote against this proposal. And China abstained from voting. Now, prior to the vote, Russian Ambassador Vasily Nibenzia said that Russia was against creating a new work area for the Security Council. The draft will establish a generic and an automatic connection between climate change and issues of international security. He added that this turns a scientific and a socio-economic issue into a politicized question. The Russian ambassador also said the direct links between terrorism and climate change is far from obvious for Russia. Повторюсь, что являюсь ответственным членом ООН и ее Совета Безопасности. Российская Федерация совместно с Индией и Китаем не разделяет подход, навязываемый западными государствами, которые уже заставили в него уверовать большое число ждущих помощь государств. Now, India voted against the resolution, arguing that global warming was chiefly an issue related to economic development rather than international security. The Indian mission to the United Nations said in a tweet that the draft resolution attempts to securitize climate action and undermine the hard-won consensus and the agreements that have been reached on this issue. But the Security Council is not the place to discuss climate action and climate justice. Listen to the Indian ambassador to the United Nations, T.S. Tirmurthy's take on this entire controversy. The honest answer is that there is no real requirement for this resolution, except for the purpose of bringing climate change under the ambit of the Security Council. And the reason for that is now decisions can be taken without involvement of most developing countries and without recognizing consensus. And all this can be done in the name of preserving international peace and security. The resolution has called on the United Nations chief to report the security implications of climate change on issues addressed by the Security Council. The text has sought recommendations on how these risks could be addressed. The draft resolution was penned by Ireland and Niger. The text was supported by 113 other member nations and it has also won the support from 12 of the Council's 15 members. The presidency of the Council is currently held by Niger and the presence of the Security Council for December Abdu Abari has called on the opposition for the draft to be short-sighted. The American ambassador to the United Nations, Linda Thomas-Greenfeld, has said that there is no justification for those nations that have in fact put in a veto for this proposal. The United Nations intends to make global warming more central to decision-making in the United Nations' most powerful body. But the failed veto has led to sinking the Council's year-long effort. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.